So good evening, good evening, good evening. We are back again. We are going to talk about Stanley Kroenke making an extra two billion on his net worth. Just like that, two billion. Oh, Kroenke out. Uh. Uh, we're also going to talk about Reese Nelson being nominated for one of the most ridiculous made-up awards I've ever seen in my life. Uh, another made-up award to make out that something was amazing when ultimately it led to nothing. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, before we get into talking about that, make sure you sub to Lee Reacts. Subs are flying on that channel. Nearly 200 yesterday. Uh, the views are pretty decent as well because they uploaded for three weeks. Video has dropped on that channel already, so make sure you go and check that out. And um, plenty more content to come on that channel. I will have some more uploads coming today as well. I've got a video coming out later about Wilfred Nonto. Yes, the flavor of the month. And um, Elise as well. Um, I will also have another video out later, later, 10 o'clock tonight. So 5 p.m. Um, UK time, I will have the second video out. And then 10 p.m. UK time, the third video will be coming out. But smash the like, subscribe, road to 100k, donate down below in the thanks option, and let's get into it. Let's talk about Reese Nelson first and foremost. Reese Nelson has been nominated for Premier League Game Changer of the Season Award. Okay, thanks to his brilliant last gasp strike against Bournemouth in March. Reese, Reese. Uh, the award is presented to the individual with the single most match transforming performance over the course of the campaign. And Reese is a strong contender for the prize for his display during our game against the Cherries. We found ourselves 2 0 down. Yes, we did. Uh, before Benjamin White, they've called him Ben White on the website. Do they not listen to what he says? He likes to be called Benjamin, not Ben. Pulled a goal back. Um, that prompted Mikel Arteta to introduce the winger on the 69th minute. Within a minute, he had helped put us level with his um, centre when his centre was converted by Thomas Partey, but it would take until the 97th minute for his biggest impact to come. Yay! After Gibraltar guard's corner was cleared to the edge of the area, he controlled the ball on his chest, let it drop to his feet, and unleashed a bullet of a shot with his left foot that flew into the top corner to send the Emirates Stadium into ecstasy as we secured three points with seconds to spare. <laughs> Reese is up against Jordan Pickford for his heroics in goal for Everton in their Merseyside derby draw, heroics draw, against Liverpool in September. The same month that saw Son Hyung Min net a 13-minute hat-trick off the bench in Tottenham's win over Leicester. Another Spurs player is also on the shortlist as Rodrigo Benton caused two late goals to beat Leeds United in November have been recognised. Erling Haaland's treble and two assists. Just make a note of all of these metrics and factors. Erling Haaland's hat-trick and two assists in their 6-3 win over their neighbours United also is up for selection, whilst teammate Riyad Mahrez has been nominated for his two goals and assists to turn City's fortunes around against Tottenham in January. Right, so out of all of this gobbledygook that Arsenal printed on their website, who would you say is the biggest game changer? Somebody who scores and gets an assist, somebody who bags a hat-trick in 13 minutes, a goalkeeper that is in goal for a draw, somebody that scores a hat-trick and two assists. Mm. This is a tough one, Lee. I know. Uh, I know. I know you're all sitting there scratching your heads like, yeah, this is a bit of a tough one. Who's the biggest game changer? Oh. Well, it's got to be the guy with five goal involvements in one game, right? It's got to be. How can five goal involvements not be as good as one? Or three? What is this award, man? <laughs> like, real talk. Who's making these awards up? Yeah, football is tapped. It is absolutely tapped. Who is making this crap up? Game changer. You're the game changer. They're so Americanizing English football. It's crazy. No disrespect to you Americans. I love you guys to bits, yeah? Right? But they're trying to Americanize and franchise and this. Uh, get in the bin, man. Yeah, this is English Premier League football. We don't need game changer awards. Yeah? We have man of the match awards for that. Oh, sorry, I'm not allowed to say man in the match, am I? Because the unicorn mobber get fucking pissed off. Yeah, sorry, player of the match. The player of the match. Sorry, the rainbow merchants and be fuming. They're yeah, not allowed to say man. Not allowed to say man, even though it's men playing football. Uh, but there we go. 
Uh, anyway, let me know who your game changer. Hey, dude, who was your game changer, man? Oh, I got to give it to Erling Haaland, man. Oh, no, you're tapped, man. It was Reese fucking Nelson, man. Yeah, leave it in the comment section. <laughs> let me know if my American accent is good as well. Uh, anyway, uh, let's move on. Stanley. Stanley Kroenke. Let's go. Let's read this rubbish out. Uh, Stanley Kroenke has seen his net worth increase by a whopping $2 billion. <laughs> The American businessman has seen his gunner's side improve hugely in the 22-23 campaign, seeing them finish five points behind Man City. Kroenke, the owner of sports... And, uh, uh, Kroenke, owner of Kroenke Sports and Entertainment, has become major shareholder of Football Club in 2011 for a deal worth $731 million. After initially purchasing a 9.9% .9 stake in 07. Previously, the 75 year old has been heavily criticized by supporters for his lack of investment and playing squad. Yeah, it was literally just a hashtag on Twitter, mate. That's all it was. Nobody ever bothered turning up crying about it. Um, but there we go. That's by the way. Um, for many years, the Gunners have underperformed on the pitch while their rivals flex their financial muscles in the transfer. <laughs> But amid the North Londoners' terrific season, Cronky's terrific, he didn't win anything. Cronky's net worth has rocketed. According to the Bloomberg Billionaires Index, the Los Angeles Rams and Denver Nuggets owner has seen a $2 billion increase to his net worth since March. Well, that ain't bad, is it? Since March. We're only in May. Now his value sits at $14.9 billion compared to the 12 point nine previously listed. Arsenal also returns to the Champions League and hefty prize money rewarded for their second place finish. The Premier League may have played a role in the increase. No, it hasn't. Football London chat shit. Shut up. You are chatting absolute garbage. Absolute garbage. We made five million quid more than we did last season for finishing fifth. Who wrote this? Was it that weird looking guy? What's his name? Oh, this one's a guy called Josh Holland. Stop lying, Josh. Stop lying. We made five million quid more than we did for finishing fifth last season. And we finished second. So stop chatting breeze. If you're going to write an article, at least be factual with it. It's expected Cronky's net worth will only continue to increase with his teams on an upward trajectory. And Arsenal in, um, in particular face a crucial summer window after their second place finish in the Premier League. They're really hyping up this second place finish, aren't they? Like, th this stuff's hilarious. Um, but anyway... Let's carry on. The Colorado Avalanche's Stanley Cup win has also bolstered his fortune, while the Denver Nuggets are in the NBA Finals for the first time after beating the Los Angeles Lakers. <laughs> I think his lacrosse team won as well. Uh, but listen, um, is he going to spend any of it on Arsenal? Probably not. So who cares? Like real talk. Does anyone care? Probably not. Yeah, it's all a load of rubbish. PR, PR, PR. Stan Kroenke has made two billion. So now everyone's going to go, oh my God, oh my God, Stan's going to have a massive summer. It's going to get everyone gassed for a big summer window. Well, I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care because we ain't having a massive bumper war chest for the summer. We're going to do what we do pretty much every summer. And that is not strengthening the squad adequately to go and win it, <laughs> to go and win the title. So let's not pretend that this ain't going to be anything different this summer because he's made two billion. Oh, he's made the two billion. Yeah, let's dress it up like it's going to be amazing. And we're going to go and spend 300 million. No, we're not. We're actually not. And if anyone thinks we are, then I'm sorry, you're probably too far gone. But it is what it is. Um, I'd love to know your thoughts on that. Do you think Stanley will invest some of this two billion profit and extra to his revenue streams? Do you think he will add that from his personal wealth into Arsenal Football Club this summer to make us become champions when the champions only earned about three million quid more than us for finishing second? So where's the incentive? We finished second. Man City finished first. They earned three million more. So why would we spend an extra hundred million on top of what we would have spent to overtake Man City to get three million back? Here you go. There's a hundred million. Oh, here you go, Stan. There's three million back. Well, where's the other 97? Oh, sorry, Stan. We needed that to overtake Man City. Don't add up for a businessman. But it's okay. Everything's jolly at Arsenal. Until it ain't. And then you'll be coming back here saying, oh, I used to think you were negative, but you were spot on all the time. Get it every time. It's what it is. Anyway, we'll have a blessed afternoon. Have a wonderful day, whatever it is you are doing. Uh, I will have another video out on this channel, 5 p.m. 
UK time. Uh, talking about Wilfred Nonto and Michael Elise. Uh, so make sure you come back and check that out, 5 p.m. UK. And, uh, and then I'll have another video out at 10 p.m. UK time. So make sure you come and check that one out as well. Yes. Also, I've recorded a video with Troops and Curtis today. So make sure you go and check that out. I'm not sure when it's out, but it'll be on Troops' channel. Uh, so make sure you come and check that out as well. Uh, but yeah, for now, we're out of here, people. Adios, amigos. Adeta fuera. Everybody fuera. Thank <laughs> you.